Hello friends and welcome back to Enterprise Architecture. Now, last episode we got started on our leather making, but things are still curing in the background here. It's taking a long while. So while that's going, I figured we'd start working on some of our other projects. Now, one of the big other projects I wanted to start work on is to build ourselves a barn. We have a whole bunch of animals in this area that just keep seeming to come right up to us. And I figure having a place to be able to keep them would be awfully nice. Now, it's going to be a while before we are producing enough grain that we can feed them and breed them. We are a long, long way away from that, at least a couple of weeks. So in the meantime, I do want to start attracting them and bringing them in and at least build out the space for them if we can. So let's go ahead and get started on that project today. Now, in between episodes, I started building ourselves a more proper tree farm over here. We had originally had just our pine trees here, and they were kind of laid out all over the place. It was kind of a mess. So I've put them up on these individual blocks of dirt so that I can kind of keep track of what's where. And I've installed the resin regrow mod because I think that resin should be able to be grown from any tree, not just the naturally occurring trees. These will grow into trees that may or may not give us resin. So I'm going to plan to cut down any trees here that do not produce resin and then use those over and over again from their seeds to grow more trees that hopefully will then produce resin. So this will become both a tree farm and also a resin farm until I have 16 trees that are giving you resin. And at that point, we'll be getting a decent amount of resin. Now, that's not quite enough wood for us. So we're just gonna go around and cut down the rest of the trees that we've got around our base. We have a decent number that are just kind of hanging out and have grown pretty big. And I think it's about time to capture those. I think we have enough pine here that I'm going to primarily make our barn out of pine, but I might have to also use birch because we do also have a whole lot of birch now. That's the first trees we were growing. Okay, so I went down and had cut down a bunch of trees and now it's time to make ourselves a bunch of boards. Now the monsters are out in force tonight, so we are going to stay inside and make ourselves our pine planks for our farm here. There we go, that's some. Let's do a few more here. Okay, so after cutting those down to size, we have almost an entire full chest of planks. That is a whole lot of planks. So we're gonna grab this back up and put it on our back and we will be ready to start building in the morning. Now I also added the more roads and paths mod so that we could make ourselves some paths out of wood. Normally you can only make paths out of aged wood and quite frankly, I don't love that mechanic. I think that you should be able to make paths out of everything. I'm sure that they will add that to the base game eventually. So we may as well get a head start on them. Uh, there we go. Apparently the position matters. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a stack of pine path. Great. And we'll save these other boards for a little bit later on. So it is another rainy, miserable day here back at the farm. Our farm has room for the barn, I think, right over here. I think this is the area we want it to be built in. And I think maybe we put it parallel to our rabbit run and everything so that it's going in this direction. Now, I wish all of this was flat. So maybe I should gather up a bit more soil and then flatten this area out a little bit for myself. Okay, so here's the area we have cleared out for our barn. And we just want to lay out the rough footprint to start here. So I think we're going to come over let's say one, two, two squares from our rabbit run, just to give us a little bit of a gap. And then I think our actual enclosures, we want to be, let's say about seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. Then we're gonna come over three for a gate that's gonna be three wide. And then we're gonna do another seven, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight for our wall. And now we're just going to go out this way with it as far as we need to. Now, I don't think our pens need to be especially big here. Four, five, let's say five. Does this look like more than enough space for a fenced in pen? I think that looks pretty good for most animals to be able to fit in this area. So let's call that 
our pen. So what are we going to raise? That's the other big question. So I know that we're going to want to do pigs and oryx, which will become cows for us. We want sheep and we want chickens. What other animals can we raise in this game? Let's see, animal husbandry. Sheep, boars, and chickens. And like I mentioned, we do have the medieval mod, so oryx are in here as well. So I guess we just need at least one more. Two, three, four, five, and six. And that should be enough for now. So I think this is our initial footprint for our base barn. Now, one thing that occurs to me is we probably want some area to store things like feed and other various ingredients, but I think we'll have enough room in this little spot here that we can put down a chest or something. Or maybe we put a hayloft above so we can store base, bales of hay for our animals. So I think that's what we'll do here. So we are a little over two blocks tall, taller than in the other block game. So three is head clearance for us. So let's do at least four and five. And then this will be where the floor will be just above that, so six. I think this will look right for us. So let's come over here, fill that in. Does that look too tall? We don't want it to be so tall that it's imposing. I think that's one layer too tall. So I think maybe we take this down one from there and we just do five. That looks pretty sharp. And look, we've already got goats in here. What if you what if you just stayed in there? No? You don't wanna you don't wanna stay? So let's go ahead and make ourselves up a stack of these. Okay, 64 of those. Now, we could even use these as the walls. I wonder how this will look. No, that doesn't feel very solid as an exterior wall. Let's snatch those back up. But maybe we do use these for our interior walls here, like so. I don't think that's bad, and I don't think I'll make them any higher than that either. I think I'll keep it to that. Now what I'd love to do is use wood slabs. Do we have wood slabs in this pack? Those are boards, also boards, and still boards. How about th this? Those are pine slabs. Now before I make a metric ton of those, I'd like to know if I could flip them on their side. Oh, maybe I can just put these as vertical slabs. If I put them like, no, not like that. But like that? Ah, so there we go. That's a vertical slab. But we want them against this edge here. So if I do that, yeah, that's what we want. Okay, those are looking good. But I might want to do a contrast color here. Maybe this is where all of those birch planks come in to go along with the pine. Let me play with that real quick. Okay, how about that as a contrast? What do we think of that? No, nope, not that one. That could be interesting. How about that? That's not bad. I could use some more detailing here, but overall, I think, look and feel-wise, those two contrast really nicely. It gives it almost a little bit more of a modern, rustic feel. Yeah, I can live with that. Okay. So I tell you what, we are going to frame the rest of this in real quick with our various slabs. Oh, can I convert these back? Oh, I can convert those back. Love it when you can do that. So we're going to fill the rest of this in, like I was starting to say, and feel out how all of this looks together. I will spare you all the laborious putting of planks in place here because it's going to take me a while. Okay, it's hard to see because it's raining, but there is our basic layout done. Now we need to finish putting in all of our fences. So we're going to go ahead and fence up these walls a little bit. And since some things can jump, we do want to make sure that these are double tall walls. 
But I might leave a little opening at the top. I don't think anything can crawl over that. So I may have mentioned this already, but I turned off my temporal stability meter altogether because quite frankly, it was causing me more trouble than I could really tolerate. I was struggling with cutting a bunch of trees in all of this rain and it just kept turning my gear back and turning my gear back and turning my gear back. And eventually it just got to the point where I was having rifts all the time. So I really can't stand that. I can't tolerate that. And it was making it too hard to play. So I just turned it off for now. Oh, and now there's hail back again. Okay, took that out. Okay, nothing. Okay, so this is what I was afraid of. We are we are being hailed on in large quantities. So, real fast here, we need to put a roof on this thing. Well, this hail is really messing up our building plans. We've got our roof here on for our lofts, but just being anywhere near this is causing us a lot of unnecessary damage. So we're going to kind of tiptoe our way around as much as we can. Now, what we can do here is start putting down some stuff like our planks for our paths. I had made a bunch of paths earlier, and actually I want them all to go this way. So I guess the trick to making these go this way is... Yeah, they go perpendicular to the direction you're facing here. So let's see if we can't get these put down. And there is our pine path put down. I think it looks okay on top of the grass. I might come back later and decide to put a different floor underneath it, but it's it's totally fine. Okay, so where were we? We're making one more of these, right? So we just need another set of boards, another set of sticks, and there is our fourth gate. Okay. Now, put our gates in place. I'm hoping these are tall enough to keep the animals in, but we'll find out really quick, I'm sure. Now, I was unsuccessful in trapping our goats in here while we could, so that's unfortunate. Does this only open that way, or does it open the way that you... Yeah, it opens the way that you put it, so if I put it this way... It's going to open in, but if I put it this way, it should open, and it's also opening in. Huh. Nope, still opens in. Well, we are never going to understand the logistics of the fence opening and closing. We're just going to live with it. So this is starting to come together. Now, I do really want to put a roof on this. I want to get to the next level, but... This, this weather is not doing us any favors. So I think maybe I'm gonna go do some other chores around the area and then we will come back to putting on the roof once the weather is a little more forgiving. So the rain only just cleared off, but I wanted to do one little project here first, which is to make a couple of glass panes. So I think here we need a hammer. We've got our chisel, we have a saw, we have glass. So I wanted to try and do this real quick. There's our chisel and there's our hammer. Do I have the position wrong for those? There we go. So I figured some glass panes would be nice to add here in our house now that we've got things starting to look a little bit fancier. And actually, let's go ahead and make one more set of glass panes. Hammer, chisel, saw. Okay, plain glass panes, wonderful. So we're just gonna go ahead and put these in place of our fences that we had had for windows. No, nope, that's not what I want. Please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. Whew, we got it back, okay, good. Let's try, he no, no, not there. Okay, I really want this to go sideways. So if you would go sideways for me, that would be the absolute best. So let's try this. Will this work for me? Let's do here as well. Okay, so I can put these against this maybe? Yeah, that works. Perfect. And then just knock these out. 
Oh, and now the glass falls down again. Huh. Well, glass panes have to be attached to something, as it turns out. That's awful. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. And we don't have any mortar to put them back together either. So instead, I guess what we're going to have to do here is go back to using our saw, wherever that is, and make ourselves some slabs instead. There we go. Eight. And we'll go ahead and do 12 of those with our remaining glass blocks. We do have another whole stack of these, and our extra slabs we are certainly going to use as well. So let's put these on the outside edge, like so. And that looks great. There we go. Wonderful. Not only that, it's nice and quiet in here now for the first time ever. Can't hear a thing. We have proper doors and proper windows and now it's an inside. It's an actual, actual room. That is lovely. So we need to start laying out our barn second layer here. It's still the middle of the night. It's still dark and wet. I don't love it, but we don't really have much of a choice at this point. I think what we're going to do for our barn design here is sort of a stepped approach. We're going to do maybe an outer ring that's going to be just slabs. After that, I want to do a peaked roof of stairs here on the inside. Maybe I come up one layer for that. Okay, that's looking pretty good with five layers of roof on there. So I think from this point on, I am going to do mostly planks now along the side. These half slabs. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of those. And you know what? We're going to need a lot more before this is through. So I'm going to grab up the last remaining. I think I have a little bit more pine left, right? Yeah, this is pretty much the tail end of my pine here. So I'm going to make another set of slabs out of that. And I do have a few more pine boards left if I need that I can use. So let's see how far we get with whatever we've got here. Okay, so I've got our roof on there and I have our siding now in place. So this is looking pretty sharp, I do believe. Now we do want to put some doors in here. And so I think for that, let's see what we've got left here. Not a whole lot of logs. I wonder, can we do a three by three door? Three by three, ooh, three by four. Oh, those are only drawbridges. Okay, how about three by three birch gates? Two, three by three birch gates. All right, let's go put these into place and see how they look. How about right here? There we go. That's nice, you can live with that. They're slow, but they're awfully nice looking, okay. There we go, that looks good. Okay, now the only thing we might want to do here is make the entryway not grass, just to kind of have some consistency here. Let's go ahead and put, yeah, some birch planks in. I think that looks good. We're gonna close, well, let's leave this open for now. And the reason why we're gonna leave this open for now is because we still need to deal with getting our animals in. So to that end, we need to make ourselves some troughs. go. Okay, looking pretty sharp. This is coming together. I think this will close properly if we do this. Let's go ahead and put these slabs like this. Well, that, oh, don't want that there. Yeah, that looks pretty darn good. I can totally live with that. All come together now. All right. Maybe I put stony paths here instead of the birch I'll have to think about that and come back to it, because that's a little too bright. And I think we are just about out, yeah, if not completely out. Yeah, I think we are completely out of pine at this point. So we don't really have much other choice. All right, so small troughs feed small animals. And large troughs feed large animals. 
Okay, so it looks like chickens are the only ones that need a small trough here. So we can make one small trough and that'll be enough. And then we need three large troughs, if I can remember the recipe. Yeah, that's right. One, two, three. Okay. And I'm going to put that within easy reaching distance, hopefully, of the door. So like right here. And I think that's close enough, but it also prevents the animals from actually getting out. So that'll work. Put that there. And we'll put one here. Outside wall? Inside wall? I don't think it matters. Right here. And then our small trough will go in here on this wall. Great. Okay, so with our troughs in place, the main thing that we need now is something to feed the animals with. Now, I have a whole bunch of hay bales somewhere around here that I'd made from straw. In one of these containers, I need some labels, y'all. That is a thing that I have neglected. There we go. A whole bunch of hay bales. And then we also need some grain. I'm gonna go ahead and use the flax grain for the chickens to attract them. And I hope that this is close enough that the animals will be herded to it without me having to do anything else. I don't know if it is, but we're gonna try. Now our animals should be able to get into their new forever homes, but we still have to attract them. I wonder if there's a way to lead them. I think this guy's gonna try and get there on his own, or this lady, I should say, this isn't you. So, she's trying to pathfind her way in there. Now some of these others, I'm not sure what we can do to speed it along. There you go, go on in. Can I, can I nudge you in? Come on, come on, nope, not back down, nope, nope, that's, mm. come on, I need you to get into the hole. Oh, maybe it's because these need to be open. I thought that they could climb over the fence with that open, but apparently not. How about that? Can you get in there like that? Nope, you just do not want to go in the pen. Okay, well, I herded our you into here. Now I'm trying to convince this Auruk that he needs to come in as well. And that's also not working super great for me at this point. Okay, so we got two ooze in there, and now finally the Auruk got in, and here is a boar who just showed up. I've been hearing him for a few days now, so we're trying to slowly convince him to go into the room. And I've closed off the other end, so he can't really escape. But we do need to make sure this is tall enough that he can't climb over it either. Come on. Okay, there we go. I suckered him into coming in here too. All right, making progress. Well friends, it took me about five in-game days, but we have completed our barn build and gotten all of our animals. You can see we've got our Oryx here behind us. We also have our goats. We've got our pigs here, boars for now, and our sow as well and a pair of chickens, a rooster and a hen. So we have all of the animals we need to start our farm. But like I said, it took me a long time to get this far. Basically, I had to lead them slowly from all the way across the map by putting down food troughs and convincing them to walk all of this way over here. So that took a whole long time. So I'm gonna go heal and rest up, but for now, that's the end of this episode of Enterprise Architecture. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you back here next time. Bye, friends.